G'day, welcome to Jez Brew Reviews. Reviewing today is the Sun Chaser Lager from Yatla Brewery. It actually says Yatla Brewery on it, as you can see there. Yatla Brewery, of course, is Cone United at Yatla Brewery. So, um, anyway, it's the 4.2% ABV. It's very similar ABV to uh, Great Northern Super Crisp Lager, whatever they call it, which I have reviewed. Um, it looks like the same bottle, except just a different print on the outside. Um, it says super crisp and refreshing, same as the uh, Great Northern Lager that they brew at Yatla. Um, I picked this up for about, I don't know, two ninety nine, three dollars fifty from, uh, pretty sure it was, would have been Liquorland at Port Macquarie again, I've got a few beers there. And uh, so it says here, lower carbohydrates, so it's one of those low carb beers, same as Great Northern. Okay. Um, Got a lot of smoke there. Um, let's just uh, pour it into this colourable beer glass. Okay, so it's pretty much the same as within the box. The box clear. It's light uh, golden, very light golden, and uh, over one finger, a very um, bright white, stark head. The smell. How much of an aroma going on? Of course, it's, um, it reminds, it does smell like Great Northern Lager. So, anyway, it makes you wonder sometimes. But anyway, it's just a typical beer smell. Let's get into it. Cheers. Okay, it's very light, it's very watery, it's grainy. There's a little bit of wet cardboard. Finishes dry, and there's really no bitchiness to speak of. Um, let's go again. It's sweet. There is sweetness in it. The more it heats up, the more it gets sweeter. But it is. It is that kind of like they brew the sugars out. There's still enough sweetness in the in the beer. Grain, yeah, a little bit of cardboard flavour. But saying that, it does finish clean. There's no real aftertaste at the end. It just finishes very dry and um, dry of a scale. Yeah, I'd say it's very dry. It's up there until it's extra dry. Mouth's drying up. Okay, so score for Sun Chaser Lager, I'll give it a score of B minus. It's nothing special. It tastes very much like Great Northern Lager. I kind of think that's just the same beer with a different label on it. Um, interesting by the marketers. But anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Jazz Beer Reviews. Till next time, I'll see you later. Bye.